Okay, I wanted to give you guys an example where you're given a polar coordinate, 5, 2 pi over 3, and you have to find the points based on the criteria in A, B, and C. So the first thing you need to do is draw your polar coordinate. So we have 5, so we need 5 rings. Then we need to place where 2 pi over 3 would be, which is about 120 degrees. So I draw that there. Now, the arrow that I draw represents the original angle. So that right there. And that point goes right there. Okay, so that's our point. Now, no matter what we do in A, B, or C, our picture will look exactly the same every time. So, for A, I'm looking at it and it says R greater than zero. Well, that means that we have a positive radius. Well, the radius doesn't change. It's not going to shorten all of a sudden to four or lengthen all of a sudden to six. So, it's still a five and positive. So, part of my answer is already done for me. Nice. The question is, is our blank here, our angle? And so, what I need to do is I need to look at two pi over three and ask myself a question. Where do I go from here? Am I going to go in this direction or in this direction to make it negative? Well, if I keep going in the first direction, right here, if I take this guy and I keep going like this, I'm going to become more positive, which means my angle is going to become larger. So if I were to travel all the way around and back to the beginning, basically I'd be adding 2 pi to 2 pi over 3, and my new angle would be 8 pi over 3. But 8 pi over 3 is not in this range. I need to be between 0 and negative 2 pi. So the answer seems to be that I'm going to travel in this direction. So I need to start at my dot, and I need to travel all the way around back to that dot. The only way to do that is to now subtract 2 pi from that. Well, that's the same thing as 2 pi over 3 minus 6 pi over 3, which equals negative 4 pi over 3. And that would be my answer for A. Okay? B is slightly different. In B, our new radius is less than 0. So when I write in my answer, I got negative 5 comma some angle. But here's the issue. The issue is, is that at negative 5, 2 pi over 3, I'd be down here, where that x is. So somehow, we've pulled ourselves through to there because of the negative 5. If this, this right now, re this x represents negative 5, 2 pi over 3. Well, we don't want that. We want to be back where our red dot is, right here. So, what I need to do is I need to say, all right, 2 pi over 3, do I need to go in the positive direction or the negative direction to get where I want to be? Well, if I go one half of a circle to make, a, uh, to make myself get back to this spot, then I'm going to end up with a negative angle but our angle needs to be between 0 and 2 pi. So I need to go in the other direction. I need to stay positive. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add pi, which is the same thing as 2 pi over 3 plus 3 pi over 3, which equals 5 pi over 3. So my answer then is 5 pi over 3. Okay? And lastly, C. So in C, again, we're back to a positive radius. So again, I write 5, comma, some angle. And we start again with our idea of 2 pi over 3. So we have 2 pi over 3. And then, <clears throat> but I need to be between 2 pi and 4 pi now. So I'm obviously not going to go in the reverse direction because I don't want to get negative or small. I want to go in the positive direction, counterclockwise. So I need to go from here all the way around 
and back to there so that I can be between 2 pi and 4 pi. Because the way that this dot is originally 5 comma 2 pi over 3, that's a positive radius and between 0 and 2 pi. Now I want to be between 2 pi and 4 pi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 2 pi to 2 pi over 3. That's the same as 2 pi over 3 plus 6 pi over 3, and that equals 8 pi over 3. So my answer then would be 8 pi over 3 as the angle. So there you have it. Hope that helps.